Today we're going to get lava. No matter what, we are getting lava today. I have decreed it. I have a plan with a capital P and it involves a lot more blocks. Where is my, there's my stone cutter. It involves a lot more blocks and a lot more exploring. So we need to head straight off back to the nether. All right, we've got sneak toggled. Now we need to decide, are we gonna go north or south? Or off to the side even? We have warped forest out this way, right? Or not? Well then, let's head off this direction a little bit. All right, three stacks of blocks in. And we're still firmly entrenched in nether wastes. So, we will be very carefully tightrope walking our way back. All right, yeah. So, north is our warped forest. That's good to know. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to work our way out in a crosswise direction. <gasps> And here we are. I think this is exactly what we need. Yes, it is. Wow, it would have been a lot faster to come out this way first, huh? So, we've got a basalt delta. This is perfect. This is like right here. Excellent. So, what we're going to do, we might as well just start working on it now, right? Um, we are going to build a relatively small... Magma cube farm. All right, we need to hang around a bit and wait for some pumpkins and some iron, some a little bit more iron before we get going. So while we do that, why don't we grow ourselves some crimson fungus? All right, we'll get a fully automatic farm for this stuff later. But in the meantime, it's good to have at least a little bit. You know, I hear you can eat bone meal. Is that true? Apparently not. Nice. All right, let's go take a look at the pumpkin situation. Do we have a pumpkin yet? We do not have a pumpkin yet. Might as well do a little bit of the one block run, I guess. Let's see, where did I stash the terracotta? There it is. At some point during the last session, I remembered something. And I think, if memory serves me correctly, that's the wrong set. Um, I believe that you can actually smelt clay into terracotta. I think. Well, it's smelting. I didn't have to wait for a trader this whole time or go looking for another biome. My goodness. So with that, that means that we can come over here and dip a little bit of a yellow dye out of here. All right, let's try this. We could make some yellow terracotta, which is one of my very favorite blocks in the entire game. What's yours? Anyways, with a little bit of yellow terracotta, we can brighten some things up around here with some yellow. Now, I don't know how we would get green dye. Haven't haven't figured that one out yet. Haven't seen any cactus come through or anything like that. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, look at the color though. I like that. Now, as we get more blocks, we'll keep adding more bright yellows and greens. Pumpkin, pumpkin, give me a pumpkin, or I'll send a lightning bolt. Pumpkin, pumpkin, I want a pumpkin. This is my pumpkin summoning ritual. The saying is a watched pot, not a watched jack-o'-lantern. This is ridiculous. This is officially in the realm of ridiculousosity. Why are we not getting pumpkins? Do these need to be dirt? I wonder if they need to be dirt. What if we switch that out? All right, let's see if that changes anything. There we go, there's our pumpkins. All right, let's pop ourselves back in. Oh, there's a big guy. Oh, there's no longer a big guy. That's not fair. Three. How many arrows? Oh, he went through the portal. Well. 
That's a problem for future D, and she's gonna hate me for that. All right, well, we've got to go face our fate. This walkway really needs to be safer. It's a start, I guess. <sighs> okay. Um, before we go through, I'm going to be prepared to just block up as quickly as humanly possible. Because there we go. That's why. Because we were bound to have a couple of these guys waiting for us. I hope I have enough arrows on me. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh no! Not phantoms too! No! No! Crap! No! This is terrible and awful and horrible and no good and very, very, very bad in fact. Do not knock me off of this I don't even have an actual weapon other than my bow. Alright, you guys are the worst! Jeez! Jeez! Goodness! I might actually kill a phantom. Ah! Are we about to get that achievement? With a pickaxe, no less. Because we don't have anything better. Okay, there's one down. Eat something. Phasmophobia. I love it. There we go. Phantoms are gone. Alright, even got a phantom membrane. Now we gotta take care of this thing. Who knew that Zoglins would be in our experience. I think that's everybody. I don't hear anybody else. Cool. Okay. Let's take a look at this advancement. Phasmophobia. Kill a phantom. Cool, cool. I have definitely not been in a hermitcraft drought and been binge-watching Green's Phasmophobia videos. Not at all. Not me. <laughs> I actually... I think it's a really cool game and I kind of really want to play it. It's fine. All right. Now that that crisis is over, nobody down here waiting to waylay me? Cool. Let's get ourselves some more cobblestone slabs. Oh, wow. There are so many magma cubes. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put fences down around the outside. Am I crouched? I'm crouched. Cool. Okay, that's all the fences we've got. So, here's hoping there's not any nasty surprises on the other side for us. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we're okay. Jeez. Oh, we are almost out of, of, of the slabs. Oh, no. Oh, this is... Unfortunate. Oh wait, actually, if we grab these, will we have just enough? Well, not if we eat them over the side, we won't. That's for sure. Sheesh. Alright. If there's a Zoglin on the other side, I'm gonna die. Ah! That There's a... Whoa, there's a blaze! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. My house is about to burn the heck down. Um, jeez. Oh no, this is really bad. This is really, this is, I almost didn't think it could be worse. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, put it out, put it out. Jeez, okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. No, no. No! No! Oh my... What? Alright, we need, we need, we need, we need just something. Okay, here we go. Dirt. Uh. 
I have had enough of you. Okay. Let's see. We go boom. That's out. Okay. 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 I didn't actually pick up a blaze rod. Oh, I still hear flames. No, and they're after me. They're after me because I made a bad choice. I just died. Oh, no. This is so bad. No, 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 no. No, no. Stop burning my house down. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got a blaze rod, though. That's cool, I guess. There's more fire into fire. Indeed, indeed. We are very much into fire. I... Oh, I have a water bucket. Let's... Or not. Jeez. Goodness sakes, alive. I just put water down somewhere and I don't even know where. Where did it go? There we go. How much of my stuff just got washed away entirely? <sighs> this is really bad. Um... This is like really, really bad. This is terrible. What can I do at this point, you know? Is that it? Did we get it? Oh my... Where did he just go? Oh my goodness. What was that? I need to recover from this. So that's a note for when we make our adventure room. It's going to be be um fireproof well we have a blaze rod which means that we're going to be making a brewing stand here soon i hope you guys enjoyed that because i cannot say that i found the experience very pleasant at all where did the blazes spawn that's what i need to know you know what we're gonna do we are capping those off i don't think it sounds like we have any more big ones upstairs. No, we don't seem to. We do have lots of medium-sized ones still, though. So we gotta be fast! Woo! Bye! They're gonna get me! Ugh! Ah, dear. The good news is all of my things went straight into the uh, hoppers, hopefully. Hopefully. The bad news is there's going to be a bunch more that spawn up there. Goodness, this is ridiculous. Okay. Gonna get more big guys and some little ones, too. Ow! Ow, back off. Give me my things. I do have my axe. Excellent. We go boop, and we grab that. And then we go... Zoop. There we go. Nice. Okay, he's up here. Where I don't think he can even be reached by the jumping gremlins. Alright, let's grab our magma cream because guess what? We already have enough for a, a lava bucket. But now we have this farm and whether we need it 
for brewing or for magma blocks or anything else, we've got that. So now, let's pop ourselves back through our portal. And hope that nothing spawned here, because nothing should have. Alright, now that we have a relatively sustainable source of lava, I'm not, like, super worried. Let's get ourselves some lava. Excellent! Okay, now let's try this situation out. Excellent. And then we just... I think we're actually going to place it in the middle one here. But that should be a, let's see, is this fortune? This is fortune, not self-touch. But this should be a fully functional stone, cobblestone generator. We did it, folks. Oh my goodness. It only took us, what, six and a half episodes? But we did it. We made it. We have lava. We have fire and brimstone. We've had way more fire and brimstone this episode than I ever, ever want to deal with again. Oh my goodness. Speaking of which, <laughs> we should go fix that up pretty soon here. Oh my goodness. We have so many bows in here. Where's the one? Okay. Unbreaking two, power two, punch one. That's a reasonable bow. And I feel like, I kind of feel like we should, you know, use it. I think the bow that just came in here... Yeah, it was unbreaking two, so we can get an unbreaking three bow right off the bat. Excellent. Okay, eight. And three, perfect. All right, all right, now we have a decent little bow. And with that taken care of, let's go take care of the issue upstairs. Now, here's the thing. We could do something cool with the floor, you know? You feel me? One of you lovely viewers suggested, um changing up the colors on the outside of the tower as we go up levels. I don't know if it'll be or like like to give it different visual interest and I don't know if it'll be tall enough to really warrant that and I'm really invested in my color scheme currently um, but it's not a bad idea and I'm kind of thinking that's actually a fun idea to do with the floor and we've already got pink downstairs what if we went with a blue? All right, so for this floor up here, where'd my shovel go? There's my shovel. Um, I think we'll do something with a this kind of set of colors. Okay, okay, I'll take it. That's a cute floor. You know, we stuck clay down in here a while ago. Okay, it does smelt into terracotta. Well, I wish I'd thought of that sooner. Ah, well. Now we know. Do chiseled bookshelves count? That is what I need to know. So we're going to stick a book in there. We're at level 22. Okay. If we put one, two... No, chiseled bookshelves do not count. That is at least good to know. That should be 30. Okay. And then we can add other bookshelves as we see so fit. Anyways, that's that fixed up. Hello, sirs. Hey, buddies. I'm gonna bring you... Oh! Who are you? Who are you? Where did you come from? No, we don't need the luck of the sea. There we go. Protection for, and oh my goodness, it is expensive as heck. But we will take it. Thank you, sir. Wow, I do not have enough emeralds for this. We really need, I wish I had. I wish I had a raid farm. I don't know, like, how we would pull that off, you know? There, there's a child? Where's the child? And the child's just hanging out with mom and dad. Okay then. Sheesh. Oh, he's he's he. Oh, he's on the bed. No. You can't control him. Let's turn our attention 
to this place. Nice. And we should do something special in the middle. I think... I think I know the trick there. All right, so now we need to add our glass. Okay, okay. So now we have the glass part in. And we just need to add doors. I think what I'm gonna do. Uh, hello, baby. I have, I have, and it's even a tabby, just like our pickles on Vervain's Arcadia. <gasps> we have a kitten. Oh, my puppy just came over to say hi. <laughs> I'm so happy that this cat was a tabby cat, and I'm going to tell you why. So, my family's always had cats. Um, and the one we had when I was like... 10 ish i was home alone um with him when he died and i was like 12 and he was oh and he was a beautiful tabby and well we had pickle we have pickles and pickles the second and third over at vervain's arcadia but this beautiful boy what color should we dye your collar? All right, we're gonna give you a little light blue collar there. Oh, that looks so good. You have no idea how special you are. So first things first, we're gonna plant some flowers there. And we're gonna plant a sapling there. And we're going to basically force grow it if we can. If we can, being the operative word. Nice. Okay. We're gonna get a bunch of birch wood this way. Which is fine, because we were running low anyways. <gasps> We've got a beehive already! And they're in... Nope, they're not inside anymore. Okay. I want to get one more... Um... Hive. But I need them to go inside. There we go. Got them. All right, fantastic. And there it is. All right, before anybody pops out, there we go. Total B location. Why didn't I get that the first time? What's the... Oh, move a bee nest with three bees inside. I didn't know the three bees was part of that. Using silk touch. Okay, so we know that we have at least, well, we must have Exactly five bees, because I didn't get that the first time. All right, we'll let that decay for a bit, and we'll build the inside here. And, of course, we'll end up putting a couple of other um, beehives in here as well. So now we'll go ahead and place our little bees in. And that's the one. And take that piece of the floor out. And go zoop. And go zoop. How many? I got two spore blossoms. Okay. We'll put the other one out in here. Because obviously one's going to go in the house. But we'll put the other one out in this spot. There we go. Okay. I, I love this. I love our little bee. Bee kingdom, I guess. All right. Now what should we do? There are so many possibilities. I really want to know what the blaze spawning mechanic was at the portal there. Um, because if they just, like, spawn in the nether in places, like, that's awesome. And we can work with that. But if they, like, I don't know, if the spot we're in is where they spawn or something like that, that's not as, like, mm, it's not as fun to deal with. But we have a blaze rod and we can make a brewing stand. There we go. We also need a roof on there. And I don't know what color to make that roof, to be honest. 
All right, can we go work on this roof while remembering that we do need to come back for checking for saplings in a bit? Probably not. Wow, that's a phantom. I don't want a phantom. No, no, I don't. Goodbye. Rude. Well, while we're here, might as well come check on the sapling situation. We've got three, four. Excellent. And an extra one to boot. You know what I just realized. Once we get potions going, we can zombify and cure villagers a lot easier, which means we can bring down their prices because we're not in 1.20.2 here, we're in 1.20.1. So we can still cure them. Okay, 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 okay. I like this, I like this plan. Hello, beehives. Do we have honey? We have honey, oh yes. The very first thing that I built in survival Minecraft was a beehive. This was while my partner and I were still playing on the PlayStation. So on bedrock, obviously. And I built a glass greenhouse with beehives in it. I'm sure it was horrifically ugly. I like greenhouses. I seem to build them quite a bit. We have one pumpkin. Fantastic. We do have a bunch of melons. Let's run over here. And with that okay and there oh that color is perfect it's oh my goodness i'm actually kind of really obsessed with that those are the colors we want in this oh i love it oh no oh no get him get him mr iron golem thank you sir for your service now I'm a little worried. They got zombified. Oh no, that means they died. Oh, that's why I wasn't going to zombify them because we're on normal mode. Oh, that's actually really bad. No, don't die. Don't you dare die. Ah! Well, I'm dead. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Don't die. Stop. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we need some more uh, villagers. That was actually terrible. I can't believe I forgot to set this to hard mode. I mean, I can't believe a lot of things about what just happened. All right, so let me make sure we avoid any disasters like that. We're going to use the mini HUD real quick just to make sure. All our roof spots are covered. Cool. Well, we got the roof on, but at what cost? But on a brighter note, let's go install a couple more beehives into our greenhouse. One of my fav very favorite tricks when it comes to bees is using the poppies from my iron farm to breed them up. So now we're just gonna stand here and wait. Hello, bee! Good morning, all. Well, we only had a couple of tragedies today. I'm not gonna lie, they were both very devastating problems. But we ended up recovering okay from the Blaze invasion, and that did give us an idea of how to get potions going. And, well, the villagers might be an issue, um, but hopefully we'll spring back from that all right as well. And hey, we got bees, so that makes everything okay. Oh yeah, and we kinda got lava. That's like a super important thing that happened today, so I'm glad for that. All in all, you win some, you lose some, so I'll take it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, don't forget to leave it a like, cause that helps me out quite a lot. And if you're new around here and made it this far, well, I hope you're subscribing because I would hope that means you enjoyed it because we wouldn't want you to sit around and watch something you're not enjoying, right? So thanks for sticking with me, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!